I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Map Institute. In this video, we will understand a strategy to find equation of graph of a rational function. We are given a graph here. You can always pause the video, find the equation of this particular graph. And we will also see what are the key parameters which we should look at so that equation can be found very easily. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent suggestions. Based on your suggestions, we have taken this particular question. We have been uploading videos almost daily since last 15 years. I hope you find them interesting and useful. Share your comments. The question here is, find the equation of the graph of a rational function f of x equals to ax plus b divided by cx plus d. So this equation is of the form quotients of linear polynomials. And whenever you have that form, the graph will be as shown here. It will definitely have both vertical and horizontal asymptotes. So, the key parameters which we have to check here is what is the vertical asymptote. So, in this case, the vertical asymptote is shown in red dotted, which is x equals to 3. So, that is x equals to 3. The horizontal asymptote is shown in orange, which is y equals to minus 3. The other things given are x intercept and y intercept. So x intercept is at 2, we can write 2, 0 here, and the y intercept is given to us at minus 2, which is 0 minus 2. So from the graph, you can easily read these values. They can help you to find the rational function. Added information which you might need is vertical asymptote means what? It means that Cx plus D equals to 0. Horizontal asymptote means what? Horizontal asymptote means it is minus 3 is equal to A over C. The coefficient of leading coefficients quotient. X intercept 2 0 means what? x intercept means that y value is 0. That means ax plus b equals to 0, right? At x equals to 2. And y intercept basically means that b over d. So we can say minus 2 is equal to b over d. So we have actually four different equations, and there are only four things to be found. So you can easily find these four things that may require some time to eliminate, substitute and get the values. But in a moment, we are going to share with you a very good technique so that you can immediately get the answer. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivani. <laughs> Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. Now, let us look into the strategy which should be followed for such graph. We have complete information before us. So let's have a fresh look at this particular graph. So let's begin from somewhere. Well, we could begin from the top portion, which is if equated to 0, that means what? 
that means we will get a 0 there, right? And f of x 0 means that x intercept. So, let us start with x intercept for now. So, x intercept is 2 and it clearly says that a x plus b should be 0 for 2. That means if I substitute 2 for x, then that should be 0, right? So, that means from the x intercept, I get one equation which is 2a plus b equals to 0. Correct? Right? And clearly from here, I can say that b is equal to minus 2a. So, whatever value of a we decide, we can find b by multiplying it by minus 2. Make sense? Correct? So, so that is one way of looking into it. And now, let us see horizontal asymptote. Now, if you look at horizontal asymptote, it is y equals to minus 3, right? Horizontal asymptote is the ratio of leading coefficients and which is a and c. So, we know horizontal asymptote is y equals to minus 3. That means a over c is minus 3. So, a is minus 3 times c. a is minus 3 times c. Now, if I assume that c is 1, let us say, in that case, the value of a is going to be minus 3. Does make sense to you? If c is 1, then the value of a will be minus 3. So, that is an assumption. So, what we normally do is 1 is a good value to assume. And if I assume c as 1, I know a over c will be minus 3. If it is 2, then a will be minus 6, right? Twice. But let us go with 1. We still have another parameter, which could be the concluder. At the end, we know that the vertical asymptote is what? The vertical asymptote is at x equals to 3. x equals to 3 means now the denominator should be 0 for x equals to 3. We already know c is 1, right? So, we are saying that c times x3 plus a plus d, this is d, should be equal to 0. That is the point, right? Or if x equals to 3 is what you expect to be 0 for the denominator, clearly the denominator is what? Denominator is x minus 3, correct? Makes sense. From here also, you can see that d is minus 3. Correct? So, we could actually directly write down this value. When we say that the vertical asymptote is x minus 3, so let us rewrite. Vertical asymptote is x minus 3. That means the denominator is, sorry, vertical asymptote is x equals to 3. Then the denominator is x minus 3. Only then we have a 0 in the denominator. So, that happens to be with c equals to 1 and that kind of sums up the whole thing. And therefore, we can now write down finally our equation and the equation should be what? Well, the denominator of x minus 3, the value of a is minus 3 x and value of b is twice a minus of twice a. So, that will become b. Let us calculate b first. b is minus 2 times a, which is minus 3, and that gives you a value of 6. So, we get here minus 3x plus 6 as our answer. You get the idea. Perfect. So, see how simple it is to get the equation. You could start with the x-intercept or with the horizontal asymptote or with the vertical asymptote. So, either way, you will get the same equation. I would like you to redo this question starting with vertical asymptote. So, if you start with vertical asymptote, 
in that case your equation could be simplest since we know that vertical asymptote is equal to is at x equals to 3 so that gives us denominator as x minus 3 and that helps to build on so horizontal asymptote is minus 3 so we get minus 3 times x in the numerator and then we can find out that the x intercept is 2 and that will give you the value of 6 for b and that means it could be a shorter way you get the idea so that becomes the strategy to find the solution so let me summarize shortest way strategy begin with vertical asymptote so vertical asymptote is at x equals to 3 that means denominator we can write like this for now ax plus b divided by x minus 3 clear now second look at horizontal asymptote so horizontal asymptote which right there is y equals to minus 3 that means a has to be minus 3 right so this is y equals to minus 3 so that means a is minus 3 so we get minus 3x plus b over x minus 3 perfect now you could look at the x intercept x intercept is at 2 so substituting 2 we have to get a 0 and that is b is 6 correct so x intercept is at x equals to 2 and that means the numerator has to be b value has to be 6 right only then it will give you 2 and therefore that becomes the solution of this particular graph do you see how in just three steps we could get our result and the last step should always be check we still have one point to check and that is the y intercept so if you substitute x equals to 0 what do you get you get 6 over minus 3 so we check with y intercept which is 6 over minus 3 and that do give you minus 2 which is correct so using the fourth point we could check our equation that is how you have to write the equation of a given rational function in this particular form so step number one is vertical asymptote step two horizontal asymptote step three x intercept and step four check with y intercept is that clear to you so i hope this strategy helps you to find equations very easily get it in case you want to learn from me you can always send an email on the address given as you know our students perform extremely well we can be part of your success story feel free to write your comments and suggestions share and subscribe my videos thank you for your time and all the best